Hello, welcome back to my channel. Um, so we're doing the fifth installment of the American Girls Collection mini puzzle series. And I, so as I mentioned in the last video I did of this, I wasn't, I'm not quite sure who I got next. Um, Samantha, Molly, Kit, or Kaya, I, I don't really know who I got next. So I just took those four bags and just randomly picked one out. Um, and said, okay, whichever one this is, that's who I'm going to do. Um, and so it is Kaya. So today I'm going to do uh, Kaya's puzzle. This one's a really, lots of dark colors, um, lots of brown. Um, so this will be an interesting puzzle for sure. Um, so my story with Kaya. Um, Kaya, I think, is one of the most beautiful dolls. I think I say that about all the dolls for American Girl, though. But, um, Kaya really is truly special. Um, my story with Kaya is that I, I got her, and I wasn't, I don't know, for some reason her collection just wasn't, wasn't doing anything for me. I think it's just because it was so much smaller than... All the other collections or I don't know maybe I was just being super materialistic and just wasn't appreciating all that the collection offered um, I have since changed my ways um, and I I have most of Kaya's collection now um, I absolutely adore her TP set um, I have her dog I have her foods um, it's just like, now it's a very different experience than what I originally started with. Um, and I'm going to be honest. So I also think that, uh, there was a time in my life where I was not really, um, into American, like, well, I know I wasn't into American Girl. I was into the, oh, I'm not supposed to like dolls anymore. I'm supposed to grow up, you know, oh, only little kids like dolls. So I can't like dolls. I need to get rid of my dolls because I'm growing up and dolls are childish. I, I know that is a phase that I had in my life. And um, I'm very sad that that was a phase I had in my life because it's just not necessary at all um and I think Kaya was one of the last dolls I got um before that phase really hit me and so I I believe that because Kaya was one of the last dolls I got prior to that phase hitting um I think that um Kaya just had never really spoken to me and but it was I think it was just a lot of teenage selfish selfishness and oh I'm too good for dolls and things like that um I'm not fully sure but anyway long story short um I sold my Kaya doll um so I had the Mattel Kaya doll the pre be forever Kaya doll she was beautiful and I I sold her. Um, I sold her. I had her jingle dress at the time, and that was pretty much all I had of her collection. That might have been another reason why I ended up selling her was because I had like almost none of her collection. And then the, you know, life went on. I really didn't, um, You know, I didn't think about American Girl dolls for a while, and then at some point in college, I fell in love with them again, and just truly missed them. Um, and that was right before Be Forever came out, and then Be Forever came out, and I did not like the new Kaya. Now I know some people are like, "Oh, she didn't change. It's still the same doll." I mean, no, no, she changed. It's, that is not the same doll. Um, so I, I don't know, I was really mad at American Girl for that, um, but then I was mad at myself for selling my doll, and I, you know, I couldn't believe I did that, uh, but I just, 
I had to do what I had to do. And that meant for me that I, um, I begged my mom <laughs> to help me find, uh, to help me find a original Kaya from, you know, prior to the Be Forever line. And she did, she helped me. I mean, she was, she helped me sell the doll. Um, and I think she was happy that I was getting back into the American Girl dolls as well. I mean, she saw how happy they made me. And I, I mean, she asked me several times before I did sell them, like, you know, are you sure you want to sell them? You know, so I'm, I mean, I'm glad she helped me. Um, that was like the only thing I asked for Christmas. And I know I'm a college student still asking things for Christmas, but that's just sort of how my family works. I don't know. I got, I was just very fortunate. Um, and so that really is my story with Kaya and, um, I'm really struggling for these last couple pieces. Goodness. <laughs> um, I don't know. I, I'm really, like I said, I, I still am kind of mad at myself that I sold my Kaya doll. Very glad I have, I got her back, but it was not really the way it should have happened. But you know, life happens sometimes and we have to do what we got to do. Um, I, like I said, I now have Kaya's almost full collection. I have her teepee, her foods, her shield. Um, eventually one day I'll get her horse. That would be super cool. Why am I? I'm really struggling with these last pieces. Well, this, this is in the wrong spot. Oh gosh. This is how you know it's a fairly poor quality puzzle. <laughs> pieces can fit in multiple places. Ugh, oh, whatever. Okay. So yeah, um, I have not been able to restore the jingle dress maybe one day, but it's just too cost expensive, too cost prohibitive online. Man, I still don't think that's right. Does that look right? Yeah, it looks right, but it doesn't fit. Oh, there we go. Just backwards. There you go. So yeah. I hope one day I'll get to read Kaya's books. That's one thing I haven't been able to do. So I don't know much about her story, but I love the doll. And um, thanks for letting me sort of just sit and talk and work on this puzzle. Um, Kaya's beautiful, and I hope that, you know, even though she has a pre, you know, the be forever face right now, I, I still think she's worth getting. So. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.